And after I partially heard Prophet Ali Salam's talk, and now as for Master's talk, my talk has become easier. And uh, as more Master has mentioned about your family, home, and my talk is about educating children. And obviously, family, home, and home definitely comes at the top of it. So, how is the discussion is done? And my discussion has become easier. Now, we know the uh, 2011 or 2021 census report in Britain that tells that Muslims are becoming bigger. Alhamdulillah, it's now 6.5%. And in 2011, it was less than 5%. And our school children's population, those who know this, is more than or is around 10 percent. So six and a half percent Muslim population in this country. We have because of the bulging youth population, children's population, as Zaramon has mentioned, that uh, more than 50 percent of Muslims are below the age of 25, and more than 33 percent are below the age of 15. So school-going children is a higher proportion. In a country where 10 percent of school children are Muslim is a big, big proportion. Some communities have a tiny proportion and they are doing, in the material sense, wonderful. And I will give some data before I come into the, uh, into the discussion. One is, there has, has had been a research in 2018, a few years ago, and it says that Jews have the highest number of years of schooling. That means if the Jews are 13 and 13.4 years, Muslims 7.7 years. High skill job, Jewish and Hindus are above 40, and uh, Muslims are 21%, high skill jobs. And then the good thing is, 20, 30 years ago, Muslim children, especially at that time there was no uh, data on religion, it was mainly collected on on the basis of Pakistanis and Bangladeshis, which are 95 or 97 percent Muslims. Uh, education level of Pakistani Bangladeshi, that is mostly Muslims, it's not two thirds of the Muslim community. It was one third of national average. Now it's ever the national average. Alhamdulillah. So that's a good uh, achievement. On the other hand, I'm just very briefly saying this because it's important for us to know. Prison population, Hindu, Jewish, Sikhs, Buddhist, others are far less in proportion than Muslim. That means Muslim prison population is very high. So at the end of the day, this is a material, material comp comparison. But what Asmal Masrur has said, it's the family that raised children. It's the home where children are, children, children are raised. I, I am basically have been a physicist, but I moved into the areas of parenting 30, 40 years ago, because I realized at that time, 30 years ago, 35 years ago, that many of the Muslim families are packing at that time. I went to a city and when one of my close friends, older than me, he told me in his house, invited me, he was crying, his wife was there, that two of his daughters are lost. Lost, he says, one of them was living with a non-Muslim, another one has another non-Muslim and having children. That was 30, 25 years ago. And if you ask any Muslim GP in a Muslim area, you'll realize what is happening with the wider society and the Muslim community. But I'm not going to discuss these negative things. At the end of the day, it's the family, and fathers and mothers are in charge of the family. And Allah subhanahu wa has commanded the, everyone of us and that's it's a very small part of the, 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 the ayat. <coughs> that means you save yourselves and your ahl for the hellfire. And uh, family comes after individuals, and then wider, 
before the wider society comes into close friends, close neighbors, all this comes uh, comes in our life. And if we don't invest in our children, that's why I call this investment. One is the eternal investment, and because uh, children are part of Sadaka Charya, and the Sadaka Charya teachers and righteous children, if they are raised properly, they will know how to pray. They will pray. Not only that, they will do all the good things in this world, and everything will go to mom's and dad's uh, in, the, in the gate. So that's the only thing. These are the only three things that human beings take with them, until, and that will continue until the day of judgment. And uh, there's a Chinese proverb that if you plan for a year, you plant rice or corn. If you plan for tens of years, you plant trees that give fruits and shades and uh, all sorts of things. But if you plan for hundreds of years, you plant human beings. That's the saying of Confucius. So all the good people, wise people in the world, realize the importance of raising children. And uh, well, it depends on how we raise. In our case, Deen and Dunya should come together. And uh, because Akhira, uh, in fact, uh, is based on what you do in this world. And uh, if our dunya is, is, is gone, then Akhira, there's a possibility, it's not universal, there's a possibility that Akhira will be, will, will be gone. So this Salakacharya is about things in this dunya. So what you have to do is, Allah SWT has commanded us, or has sent human beings on this, to this earth as his representative. That's in Surah uh, Bakara verse 13. I'm not going to mention time short. And all human beings, Muslims or Muslims, practicing on the they are the representative or ambassador or steward of Allah SWT on earth. And Muslims are those who does the job properly in accordance to the law, in accordance to the Sharia, in accordance to the way of uh, Islam. And that's why Muslims can be and should be the better managers of this world. I call it a manager. So someone managing a family, raising a child, it is doing the job of Khilafah as well. So our main job in this world is to raise our children as better human beings, better Muslims, and better citizens. In many ways, citizenship is more important in Western society. I know we, you can say that it's a nationalist society, and um, national identity, but this is part of our part of our uh, identity, multiple identities. Our we have an ethnic identity, we have religious identity, we have a national identity. So if we are not good citizens, so if we are not seen as good citizens to our neighbors, to our colleagues, to the society in this world, then that means we may not be good Muslims. Because good Muslims should always be good with their parents, with their neighbors, with with the society around. Even if their parents are not Muslims, they have to be good to be with their own parents. So, uh, it is important that parents take this in view, this broader view. It's the responsibility of raising Allah's steward or caliph on earth, Allah's representative. And Allah's mother has raised the standard or has created human beings as the best of the creation. And you know this uh, competition about knowledge between Adam and Islam and the, and the angels. So, main task, what is the main task? Main task of parents in parenting is about nurturing and disciplining, educating. My topic is educating, more, more, more or less I have said, whatever is, uh, I, I quoted this in a short, short period of time. At the end of the day, Muslims are superior to any other community this should be because of the knowledge. And Islamic civilization was based on knowledge. We know Mongols nearly destroyed Muslim empire. But they were defeated because they were not based on knowledge. And they were defeated by Muslims. Because Genghis Khan's own grandchildren became Muslims. And they succumbed to Islam. And Mongol empire and other empires were run by the Mongols. Whereas Muslims defeated crusaders in 1187. But what happened? After the collapse of Baghdad, Muslims lost and uh, education and knowledge became secondary to Muslims. Europe went up, Renaissance colonized us. That's the sad 
historical faith that we, we, we've crossed. We need to overcome this. We need to raise our children with uh, the basis of knowledge. Knowledge of Islam, knowledge of this dunya, knowledge of the society, and whatever knowledge we have, whatever profession we do, we must excel in there. That is another, another important thing. If Muslims do not excel, they remain mediocre, then we will always be told off, we will always be guided by others. You know, we are being attacked left, right, and center in this society nowadays. Islam of Uda has risen. I dealt with this in, in my time in MCB from 2007 7 to 2010 11. But when the Kodi government came, uh, Islam of Uda has far, far right groups is, is, is taking advantage of this, and Islam of Uda has risen. And you know what happens? Our proportion is six and a half percent, but mainstream Muslim media presence of Muslims is only 0.4 percent. 0.4 out of 6.5 percent. That's not fair. That it, it, it's, it's, we, we are not going to able to change our ourselves in this, this situation. Media is just one aspect. I don't want to linger my discussion. May Allah SWT help us. Allah SWT help us for attending. But parenting is a big topic as well as family and marriage. And um, I've got three, three books in Amazon, and one in Bengali. So anybody who is speaking on English, there's one for the primary children, one for the secondary children, one for the uh, post adolescent children, so that parents can help them manage their career.